Hey, what's up, YouTubers? How's everyone doing? Thank you for joining my, my channel. It is JP, CEO of Beyond Fragrance and Fashion. Hope everyone is having a beautiful day. Um, I'm just out for a walk. I've not been out for a few days. Because if you remember, I was having my operation on Thursday. It was a success. Um, it still hurts from time to time. But, um, yeah. Um, what do you call it? But as long as I take it easy and don't overdo it, um, yeah, I'll be fine. Um, and also, even though I've been resting, I have been doing work as well because we've got the London Fashion Week in three days' time. Um, I couldn't be bothered to do my hair, like do anything with it. One second. Stones on the floor. Um, don't know what that's about, but anyway. Yeah, so. Um, we've got London South Fashion Week in three weeks' time, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Um, because I'm gonna be, I have to be there. Like, literally, I've got so much going on. Um, I'm at London Fashion Week, there's gonna be so much stuff happening. Not only the catwalks of the models, but there's gonna be so many other bits and pieces going on. And it's all for Prostate, yeah, Prostate UK charity. Um, which is a big, massive thing, you know, in men. And that's why I said in the last video, men, you need to get checked out because you never know if you have cancer or not if you don't get checked. I know that's a touchy subject and stuff, but at the end of the day, it's got to, you've got to do it. Regardless, do you know what I mean? Regardless whether you want to or not, get off your ass and get it done. Because if you don't get it done, it could be by the time you find a lump or whatever, it could be too late. You know, get checked now um, before it's too late. Um, yeah, so I'm just taking it easy. I'm almost ready, but I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing at, at London Fashion Week. Because like I said in the last video, <clears throat> a lot of you people won't believe me. So, I'm going to show you what I'm doing at London Fashion Week. And remember, flip the camera, remember we've got a fragrance called Unspoken. And you're going to see why I chose that fragrance, why I chose the name of unspoken and what's the, and you'll you'll see what the meaning is behind the unspoken aftershave or fragrance or whatever you want to call it. Um, and I'm proud of that name because, well, you'll see, you'll see. That's all I can say. That's what I'm going to say at this point. Um, I'm not going to say too much, but best believe. This is a this is a proud moment for us. This is huge. This is an, an amazing opportunity in so many ways. And who knows what's going to happen at the end of it? Who knows? You know. So um, yeah, I just want to. I just want to say, like, if you haven't got your tickets already, there's last minute tickets going on sale for London Fashion Week. This is Icon. Go to Eventbrite. Type in this is icon, it will come up. Get your tickets now before it's too late because we are running low on tickets. We just got a few more. Um, big shout out to the whole Buzz team Ka um, Caroline, Queen, Helen, and Buzz family that's involved. Um, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hold on. Hey guys, I'm back. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to go live. Thursday night. I'm gonna try my best to go like I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. Um yeah, my hair's getting done tomorrow. Um and I've got to, I've got to run some errands off straight after that as well. So I need to get one more thing for 
London Fashion Week. <coughs> um, just look at the camera so I can see where I'm going. Just because there's bricks on the floor and I don't know what that's doing there. But, um, yeah. So, there's one more thing I need to get for London Fashion Week. Um, I tried to get it last week, in fact, but I couldn't. So, I'm going to try and get it tomorrow because I'll have more time. Um, I'll have more time tomorrow once I get my hair done. Um, if I can't get it tomorrow, I'll have to get it Thursday. And Thursday's the last day because Friday, I've got to be at the venue um, early. Not super early, but I've got to be at the venue early to set everything up um, and do what I need to do. Um, and then we're all going to have meetings and stuff on the day as well. I think we're having the meetings before we set up and after. So before we set up, we're going to talk and plan it out and stuff. And then after it's all done, um, if the meetings are, we're going to get set up. Once that's set up, we're going to start and start, you know, having a meeting, see how things go, um, what we expected to do and whatnot. And then we're ready. Everything has to, as long as we're ready before three o'clock, it's fine. It'll be, good. It'll be all good. We just gotta make sure that we are that we are ready for before three. And I said to them, I'll definitely be ready before three because I'll be there early. Because I messaged them and said, "What time should I get there?" And they was like, "As long as you're so, as long as you're." Stuff's ready before three o'clock, you're fine. I was like, oh, okay, I'll come early. And I was like, we know you're gonna come early anyway, because that's the type of person that you are. You're always early to every event. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and it's crossed over. Just across the second road. I don't, I don't really, you know, I, I, I don't miss lives, but I do, if that makes sense. I don't miss the tip tip lives, because you're not in control, but I do miss the, um, I do miss going lives all together, like for instance on YouTube, because um, you're in control of YouTube, you're doing what you want to do, and there's no one, there's no one to tell you what you can and can't do, who you can and can't speak to. There's no restrictions, there's no, there's no rules, there's none of that, you know? And that's why I see a lot of people doing YouTube lives, because they're tired of being controlled. Um, <clears throat> I was just asked the other day by someone, would I ever go back on the TikTok live? I said, no. I gave him my reasons and I left it at that. Yeah? Um, I still get emails from TikTok. I still get emails from them asking me to come back, um, trying to give me vouchers to give to customers and this and the other. I'm not interested. Once I leave, that's it. I will continue to post videos. I'll continue to do what I need to do on there. But that's as far as it goes. As far as um, going live on there, being being you know being um, being attacked by racist people, being attacked by just stupid immature peasants, I don't have the time for it. I've got better shit to do. I've got my own business out here, which I'm doing, which I'm focused on. I'm at London Fashion Week on Friday, you know, for the second time this year but in a different way. Last time we was just out um, handing out business cards, promoting and stuff. This time it's something completely different. So we're still promoting, but something completely different. Why Why would I, why would I, they want to go on TikTok, why would I want to go back onto TikTok live? To, what, for more abuse? No thanks. Um, right, I'm gonna leave it here guys, so I will upload this video. I will try and go live Thursday on YouTube. Um, if I'm live, I'll show it out. 
please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll thank you so much for your love and support. Thank you so much for your kind words, and I will see you very soon. And out.